Hey guys, today we started Unit 4, which begins in Section 8.1 of our textbook. That's about ratios and proportions. So we started off by talking about the difference between a fraction and a ratio. So let's just say we have a class of 24 students, 10 of them are girls, 14 of them are boys. See if you can pause the video and answer these five questions. Okay, most of you probably came up with answers similar to this. Don't forget that whenever you have a fraction, it can always be simplified if there is a common factor. So for example, here, I divided the numerator and denominator both by two. You could also do the same thing with the fraction in part B, 10 to 24, they're both even, so they can be divided by two. You know that you cannot simplify anymore when both the numbers don't have a common factor. Okay, the same thing works for ratios. So boys to girls, well there's 14 boys, 10 girls, so 14 to 2. You can also simplify a ratio kind of the same way that you would simplify a fraction. So both of these are divisible by 2. The simplified version or simplified ratio would be 7 to 5. And likewise here it would be 5 to 7 because girls are first, 10 girls, 14 boys, so it's just kind of that ratio flip-flopped. Okay, the main difference between a ratio and a fraction, a ratio just compares two numbers. A fraction describes a set of values by comparing the part to the total. In a ratio, you don't need the total. Okay, now there's three ways that you could represent a ratio. Since we're just comparing two numbers, you can simply write out the word, T-O, so comparing a number to another number. You can use a symbol. And the last way to represent a ratio is to use, it kind of looks like a fraction, but it does not represent a fraction because this, again, is just another value. It is not a total. Okay, okay. simplifying ratios with unlike units. Sometimes you're going to have to write a ratio where the units are not the same. So for example, the ratios that we just wrote, boys to girls, girls to boys, both of those were comparing students, the same units. Let's say you wanted to compare inches to feet, or centimeters to meters, or miles to feet. You can't really do that until the units are the same. So the way that you get the units to be the same is by converting your units to the smaller unit. So for example, feet and inches, you would want to put both of them into inches because inches is the smaller unit. Okay, here's an example. My height, 64 inches. Mr. Wasley's height, 6'4". What is the ratio of Mr. Wasley's height compared to my height? Well, right now it's kind of hard to do that because Mr. Wasley is using feet and inches, but I'm only using inches. So we need to first convert Mr. Wasley's height into inches. So every foot is 12 inches, so 6 times 12, and then add those 4 extra inches. And you should get 76 inches. Okay, now we have inches being compared to inches, so we can write a ratio that makes sense. Okay, so now it says, what is the ratio of Mr. Wasley's height compared to my height? So 76 inches is going to have to go first, since that's Mr. Wasley's height, compared to 64 inches, because that's my height. Now, we're now we can do the same thing we did up above by simplifying those, that ratio since both of those numbers are divisible by 4. Once you divide each part of the ratio, then your simplified ratio should read 19 inches to 16 inches. That is the comparison of Mr. Wasley's height to Mrs. Murray's height. Here are a few that you can try on your own. Um, two of them are converting feet to inches like we just did. The others are converting uh, meters to centimeters or centimeters to millimeters. So just in case you don't remember, there are 10 millimeters in every centimeter and there are 100 centimeters in every meter. Okay, just in case you don't remember. 
Give these a try, and then when you're done, you can resume the video to check your answers. And here are your answers, so you can check. A couple things to watch out for. Um, you do want to make sure if it can be simplified that you do that, but in the event that it cannot be simplified, just leave your answer as the ratio. Don't get a decimal. Hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you're still a little bit confused, remember you can go to section 8.1 in your textbook, or you can come see Mrs. Murray to set up an appointment with me. Thank you.